it's late August. It's warm outside today. It's gonna to be in the high 90s. And you know what I hear a lot? I hear the summer's gone by so fast. Like, where did the summer go? Kids are going back to school. But you know what? You know what goes by really fast too? Is life really goes by really fast. I heard a saying one time that said, the days are long, but the years are short. Especially when you have kids. I was having a conversation that I want to share with you that I think will just be really profound and impactful and I, I hope it impacts your life in a real positive way. I was talking to a client, we were having these long conversations in the first half hour of our conversation, they were talking about all their medical ailments. Shoulder, their hip, a knee, the husband had some other issues and the summer just got away from them. They weren't able to do anything in 2021 because of their medical ailments and doctor's appointments and things of that nature. And then the next morning I got talking to them a little bit more and they were just talking about things that they wanted to buy, things that they wanted to do and how they were holding off on things. And it just got me thinking, I said to them, I said, you're doing 40 when you really need to be doing 20. And there was a nervous laugh when I said that, like you're doing 40 you're thinking 40 when you need to be doing 20. This couple's 66 years old. They retired about five years ago. And they nervously laughed when I said the 40-20. I, I know they didn't understand what I said, but they said, well, what, what are you thinking? What does that mean? And I said, you are spending your money as if though you have 40 summers left. I said, really what you need to be thinking in the context of at 66 years old, you have 20 really good summers to spend your money. There was a time when you were in your 40s and 50s and you were thinking in 40 year time spans, but at 66 years old, you have 20 summers that you're gonna spend your money. You'll be 87 years old, 20 summers from now. And I could tell I had them zoned in and they were really thinking. And I said, well, if you think about this, <clears throat> there'll probably be another global pandemic in the next 20 years, would you agree with that? Or a terrorist attack or something that'll shut the country down in the next 20 years? I'm like, oh, could happen tomorrow. I'm like, okay, so that means then you have 19 summers. And then I said, do you think that you'll have other medical ailments, a hip, a something like that happening? Oh yeah, we could see that happening. They talked about their parents when they got a little older, had some medical issues. So then I said, really you have 18 summers for your money, to spend your money, to enjoy your money, not 40. And they're like, wow, that is so profound. We're so used to saving. We're so used to conserving. We're, so, we're just in a different mindset. And I said, I get it. Your parents were depression babies for both of you. And so that's what's been ingrained in you. But this is a different world. It's a different time. And you need to be thinking about spending and enjoying your money in the next 18 to 20 summers. And so my encouragement to you by listening to this story that I'm sharing with really good friends and clients of mine is that you think about your money in the right time frame. You think about how you're going to enjoy and use your money in the right time frame. My name is Rock Trinnell. I'm the CEO and founder of the Trinnell Financial Group. And if you want to talk to somebody about time frames and how to use your money, I encourage you to reach out to our great company.